have the I have the iHeartRadio. Well, thank you, thank you so much. What's your favorite station on there? I listen to WNYC through iHeartRadio. All right. Well, thank you. Did you ever think This Is Us would be this big and this loved by so many people? Um, I, uh, no. I mean, yes. No. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. It's a hard question to answer. There's, there's. I can't see the future, but I knew that we had something really special, and I knew that people were telling a really uh, vulnerable story in a really honest way. So, I'm, I am glad that people responded favorably to that, as I hoped they would. And tonight we are celebrating the music from the series. What is it about the songs and the music that plays during the episodes that make the show what it is? Um. Uh, Music is, is very um, universal and very specific all at the same time. So a well-placed song with a well-placed tempo, a well-placed rhythm, a melody, a harmony can tap into a wide variety of experiences, kind of um, universalizing a moment, um, I think. And so the, the music that you choose and the score that you write to go along with the story you're telling, obviously, as we have seen with This Is Us, is, is a very important piece of that puzzle. And Kate and Toby had their ups and downs throughout season one. Is there anything, without giving anything away, anything in season two that surprised you about Toby? Um, uh, Olympic pole vaulter. Wow. Who knew? Crazy. You wouldn't expect it. Um, you know, we haven't gotten into Toby's Toby's uh, uh, story too much yet, so there's, I, there's not any, any real big surprises. Um, but uh, hopefully there will be some to come. Thank you very much. Thank you.